Welcome to day six of the Summer of Wonder road trip through the Rockies. And as you can see, this is the end of my day, but it's been a pretty great one. Lots of driving. Today was North Dakota to Wyoming with Montana in the middle. So much to share and show you. And this is the happy ending to it right here. So enjoy. Good morning from Lewis and Clark State Park in North Dakota, one of our favorite places. We are just chilling this morning. The sun is just coming out. I've been just relaxing, doing my devotions, working on my next video just a little bit, posted some photos, um, just really enjoying the fire. And guess what? It's time for chai lattes over the fire. So this morning I am heating up my chai over the fire. Of course, the other part of the process right here. Milk is frothing. Okay, let's see. Looks delish. So fun fact, if you heat up your chai over an open fire, you end up with a chai latte that tastes a little bit like some of those cocktails now that have that little liquid smoke or whatever in them. So a little extra today. Cheers. Max and I are on a beautiful, kind of rugged walk in North Dakota this morning in Lewis and Clark State Park. Um, all she wants to do is go swimming and we'll get there. But for now, we're just walking the terrain and this is what it looks like. So today's gonna be a lot of driving. Ugh, it's my last day on my way to Wyoming though. So I'm so excited to be there and be up in the mountains and be with my friend and just have the best time. And I have uh, my first book signing is coming up in a couple of days at a cute little place called Brewster's in downtown Sheridan. And I will definitely be sharing more about that in the days to come. I'm only on highways for a couple of hours. The rest of it is more two lane roads, although I can still make good time, but there's a lot more interesting and there's more to see. So Williston, North Dakota, a um, town on the far western edge of North Dakota near Montana is definitely a working person's town. It's pretty impressive, really. You don't see that many places or I don't see that many places um, anymore and it's I don't know somehow it's very reassuring there it's full of train yards and grain elevators and oil fields guys everywhere in as I've been driving through and just almost everyone's driving a truck or a four-wheeler and you know you go in to get gas and everybody in there has definitely been up since 4 a.m. and working hard and um, I just love that. I, I love that about America, that there are still these, <clears throat> all these people that who we depend on. And we don't think about it when we butter our bread or we, you know, turn our propane stove on or whatever, of the people who are out here, the f farmers and oil field workers, and all of these people out here who are working their tails off for a living, and we are, getting the benefit of that so I don't know that's my little r not rant I guess just just recognition right of the fact that everything you know we just go in the grocery store or online or whatever and we get whatever we need but it's got to come from somewhere and a lot of it comes from places like this so just feeling really grateful this morning for all the people who work so hard to make our lives so much better. Well, I'm about 50 miles from Sheridan, which is close to my destination today. So stopping there shortly. The hills are getting bigger. The mountains are off in the distance, although you can't really see them from here. They're around the corner.
such a pretty little town and um, we are going to stop in and say hello to the people at Roosters and check it out. That's where our first signing event is right here. Oh, it's darling. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited. This is the first place where we'll be having our book signing. And this is Rooster's gift shop. How cute is that? And where are we going in? Oh, it's very cute. Let's see. Also, downtown Sheridan. We'll explore a lot more in the next couple of days, but it is so stinking cute. There's a lot going on down here. Until later. Well, we aren't quite to our destination yet. About two more miles, but a pretty sweet view from where we are. It feels a little precarious going up. Holy moly. Whew. We are through the gate, which I had to get out and open and then close because of the horses. It is freezing. So half an hour ago, I left town and it was 82 degrees. It is now spitting rain and 50 up here. It feels like 40. Holy moly. I am not dressed for this. Still pretty exciting. All right, we're gonna be there shortly. Okay, so TP, as it's known up here, once upon a time, 100 years ago, was a dude ranch. And I believe through the 1920s at least, maybe even a little bit later, and my friend's grandparents ended up with a group of other people buying the individual cabins and creating a community up here. So no one lives here during the winter. It's way too rough. Everyone has their own little cabin and everybody has a horse. And there are other, so there's a stable and there's a community building. Oh, looks like maybe I see someone riding here. Hopefully it's not because the horses are all gonna come at me. Someone riding up here. And hopefully we're going to ride this week. It's so beautiful. Lexi the Golden and I are calling it a day. It's been a long one, but we're so glad to be here. And tomorrow we'll show you around this little part of Wyoming. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any of our daily videos as we go from central Pennsylvania. Now that we're west into the Rockies, we'll be here for a few weeks and every day is something new and fun and exciting and we want to share it with you.